What is up boys? Good morning. So second last Tuesday of the working year. Let's freaking go. I'll see you guys in a bit. So interesting things unfolded today. So it was, it was like the last hour of my shift at work. The freaking place next door catches a blaze. It's that freaking hot. And now there's fire, there's smoke everywhere. We have to like evacuate our factory and all that. And we basically got an early mark. That's the first early mark I've ever had that I know of at this job. So that's pretty, pretty hectic stuff, you know, going on. So, um, yeah, got home, just been fueling up on calories because I'm actually burning so many calories. And because I'm like sweating 24 seven in that hot box of a factory, I'm losing water weight. So I'm really just focusing on trying to like eat heaps of food, make sure I'm hydrated. I'm like drinking so much freaking water, trying to make sure electrolytes are getting in, all that sort of stuff. So uh, that's what I've basically been doing since I got home. But I've got more errands to run, so I'll be running them and then I'll finally get to the workout. And yeah, bro, that video I was talking about yesterday that I uploaded on the business channel, now it's at 1.5K views. It's doing very well. I've had a good handful of prospects reaching out to me saying, hey man, thank, thank you for that video. Your content's amazing. Um, they've been saying they really relate to my unique story about like, how they were actually doing fine, attracting beautiful girls. And then they learned about the red pill, like when they got out of high school and then they grew out the beard, just like I did. They basically did the same thing I did. And then they were just attracting no girls and like, what's going on? And thanks to my content, it's actually like awoken them from this red pill BS. And they are actually now interested in applying the female gaze. So I'm helping them out with that. And yeah, so I'm literally changing people's lives. As one guy said, if it wasn't for my videos, he would have probably ended up 35 years old and still stuck, still not sure why he's not attracting beautiful girls. He was still like with that that red pill mindset and ideology. So he's like, he was really thanking me for like what I'm doing. And I'm like, man, I really appreciate that. And it just goes to show, man, like this female gaze mastery thing on a surface level, I can understand why people think that, oh, he's a dating coach or a pickup artist or but one of these stupid thing, Dan Bulzerian type of guys. but if you just dig a bit deep and understand like the business, what I'm, why I'm doing this, I'm actually doing this because I've been in this. I, I know what it's like to be ugly and to be constantly rejected by beautiful girls. And I also know what it's like to fix my looks so that I can attract an abundance of beautiful girls and having that abundance in life is just so much better. So I truly believe that I'm changing lives because for example, just that guy that I just gave as an, as, a, as an example, imagine he got to 35 and he's still stuck. Dude, that would suck. That's like the next 10 years of your life still getting rejected, not experiencing a beautiful relationship with an absolutely gorgeous girl. Imagine that, bro. And a lot of people also are like commenting because I hit the algorithm. NPCs are saying, imagine your only goal in life is just to attract a beautiful girl. Bro, it's kind of crazy that people think that it's a stupid thing to want to attract a beautiful girl. Obviously, it's not my only goal in life. It's just that's what the business is about. So uh, that's obviously what I'm gonna be talking about is like look smacks and glowing up to attract a beautiful girl. But it's so crazy we live in a, a day and age where actually putting in work to improve yourself to attract a beautiful girl is seen as weird. Why is that seen as weird? Because in my opinion, it's actually very masculine to go out there and actually look for a beautiful girl, to actually approach a girl. It's very masculine to do that. Most men today are too weak, too timid, too scared to even cold approach that they would rather fap to prawn for the rest of their life. That's what's that's what blows my mind is that these same guys who are most definitely fapping to prawn because they're getting no results with girls are the same guys that are commenting saying, imagine doing all this to get a girl. Bro, you wish you could get a girl. <laughs> that's basically what those comments are telling me. So yeah, it just blows my mind because in my eyes, it makes sense to improve yourself to get the most beautiful girl that you can get because in my eyes, I believe that you should date to marry and spend the rest of your life with one wife and because that's the biblical way of things, right? So if that's the case, then why would I not do everything I can to improve myself so that I can attract the highest quality, the cream of the crop to be my wife? Why would I not do that? Why would I settle for less? Like, do you have a brain? Like, put two and two together. One plus one equals two. Why would I not want the most beautiful girl? That's what I don't understand about most of these, like, most of the men nowadays. The majority of guys now, 
think it's retarded to improve to get a girl. How is that retarded? Just, I think it's very masculine to do that. You, because you, you're putting in the work so you can attract the most beautiful girl. What, like, it's these same guys that just have not experienced a beautiful relationship. They don't know what it's like. They, it's almost like they lack meaningful relationships in their life. I, I could not fathom a future where I was just single for the rest of my life. I can't fathom that. That just seems so empty. And to bring back a little biblical thing into it is that God said it's not good for a man to be alone. That's why he created Eve for Adam. So I know for a fact that when I'm, whether I'm seeing a beautiful girl, I'm dating a beautiful girl, I'm a better version of me. I'm more social, I'm more outgoing. I'm more like understanding. I, I have more love to give. I don't know what it is, but when I have, when I'm with or seeing a beautiful, like feminine girl that I really like, who, you know, I, I just feel like I'm a better version of me when I'm single. I, although I, I'm still a good version of me, I'm not the best version of me, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know what it is, but like a feminine girl can really bring out the better qualities that are within me. I don't know if this is making any sense, but it's just what I've realized. I'm, I'm much happier. Not that my happiness depends on being in a relationship, but life is just better. And we are given one life. Why are you going to settle for less when you could get you could get more, you could get something better. Why settle? I never want to settle in my life. If I wanted to settle in my life, bro, I wouldn't be making these videos. I wouldn't be working on the female gaze mastery business. I would just settle with a nine to five, some okay looking girl, marry her, have kids and be in debt for the rest of my life to get a, a home loan, freaking all sorts of crap. Like I can't settle for that. I don't want to do that. So, yeah, I don't know where I'm going on this run. I just want to get this off my chest. And speaking about chest, I can't wait for a chest pump, bro. I'm finally getting back into weighted dips. I've been doing mostly body weight dips. Actually, I did. I threw a little bit of weight on for dips last time I was in the gym just because my shoulder is now fully recovered. Felt good. So I'm just going to keep progressively overloading. Take my time. I'm not going to rush it. But uh, I can't wait to be back to where I was and further because where I was, like the strongest I was at on the weighted dips was three sets of 50 kilos so wait three reps of 50 kilos i mean so that's pretty good stuff considering like pound for pound that's pretty freaking strong if you ask me so yeah i can't wait to get back up there and i'm actually really liking the machines that a public gym has to offer because obviously the home gym as you guys have seen it's the bare bone basics it's just a, a rack barbell and plates there's a, there's some adjustable dumbbells but no cable machines the cable machines bro i was doing some inverted lat pull downs oh my gosh bro that I, I did it real intense as well oh man i felt the best contractions in my lats my entire back lit up my biceps were like screaming because of the pump oh it was amazing bro so for my home gym when i have the money for it bro i would love to invest in a lat pull down machine at least because that that's just that thing is nuts bro like i that, next level stuff i love that machine so I'm itching to, to get on that, but yeah, man, gonna go do some errands, keep fueling up and hit the gym. And that's basically gonna be a wrap for the day. In terms of business, I've just been going back and forth with some prospects and clients in my DMs. So I've just been doing that. Still trying to think of a few more topics for the short form content that I've been talking about. I'm like so close to having that sorted. But uh, like I said, I'm not gonna rush that, but I'll, I'll just, yeah, see you guys in a bit, bro.